Just as we're introduced to Moss Espa, we see a green speeder with a familiar design. But wait, are those wheels? Is this just a straight up car in Star Wars? Well, the real reason that this speeder has wheels is because this speeder is in fact the very same vehicle that was used as Luke's land speeder in the production of the original Star Wars. For the film, the veneer of a land speeder was built around the base of a car known as a Bond Bug, which is a diminutive but stylish British car with three wheels. But while the wheels were cleverly hidden or painted out for Luke's land speeder, it retains these fully visible and undeniable wheels in The Phantom Menace, and we can't really just call this an oversight, because the extras standing right in front of it were actually filmed on blue screen and added in post. And there's absolutely no way that anybody doing that kind of work in that part of the frame could just miss the fact that the wheels are still completely visible. The only logical conclusion here is that the wheels were meant to be there, and this vehicle isn't meant to be a speeder at all, but some kind of jet-propelled car. We see further evidence of traditional Earth wheels with rubber tires earlier in the very same shot, where a brief glimpse into a back alley reveals a wheel with a tire. So clearly, these sorts of wheels were an intentional addition to the visual language of The Phantom Menace, and we've completely overlooked the presence of cars in Star Wars since 1999. But the story gets even more interesting from here, because remember how I said that this vehicle is the same one as Luke's Landspeeder? Well, I didn't mean that it's the same kind of vehicle, I mean it's literally the exact same vehicle. This is the prop vehicle that was used in the 70s, meaning that it's extremely likely that this vehicle actually is Luke's Landspeeder in universe. But Luke's Landspeeder definitely hovers. It clearly doesn't have wheels. So that really only leaves us with two possibilities. Either Luke's Landspeeder has a retractable set of wheels and it can arbitrarily transform between a car and a Landspeeder, or Luke actually converted an old beat up car into a more modern land speeder by removing the wheels and installing repulsor lifts. So it turns out that this random background detail actually rewrites the entire history of an iconic Star Wars vehicle. Now, of course, that's all absurd speculation, but you can't deny that this is indeed on screen. It's canon, so the wheels demand a canonical answer. Anyway, I just thought that that was a fun observation, and it's an observation with some very interesting implications. Now, videos like this are only possible through the continued support of an amazing group of supporters on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for believing in this channel. To the rest of you, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.